Hi Buns, let's go over the brand new updates and quests that you're going to be able to do after patch 6.4. I always do a longer prep video before, but I think it would be nice to have an after video so you don't miss any of the new quests, activities, or updates that come after the patch. Make sure to hit that like button and subscribe if you like this kind of content. If you are levels 1 through 89, there are only about two things to make sure to really do. Number one, start your PvP rewards. There is a new season and series which means new mounts and new minions. The minion is received at level 15 for PvP series and the mount is received at level 25 and now we get quite a bit of experience through Frontline. Doing this every day will get you there in no time. Frontline gave me about 2 or 3 levels when I did it the first time. I'm sure that will taper off as we get at higher levels. The next thing that all players are going to want to do is unlock your fairy glamour. This means you can change your fairy into a carbuncle if you so choose. The quest starts at the Arcanist Guild and I'm sure you're going to have to equip Scholar in order to do this quest. I wish they would add like a white or black carby for color, but you could choose between red, blue, yellow, or green. I'd be interested if people are actually going to use the Fairy Glamour. I am going to use it because I would like the Carbuncle to be on the ground instead of the Fairy flying around and kind of getting in my line of sight. Now from here, this really only applies if you're to Edwalker and most likely level 90. I will keep it as spoiler free as possible though for everybody. There are new levels to Island Sanctuary and that comes with new ranks, new visions, and new updates, and especially new mounts. If you did the Island Sanctuary explosion trick from the Overseas Casual Discord, you're probably already close to max level. They have a myriad of new mounts, I think like four. If you've not done it, you're really missing out on easy mounts that are obtainable through Island Sanctuary. My favorite being this little angry one with the cool neck cape. You are able to decorate your island now, which means just another reason to go and do Island Sanctuary. Someone shared this picture they found on Twitter of someone's cool ass island and I can't wait to decorate mine. You can join my Discord and see the updates from the Oversea Casuals Discord for workshops, which they tell you mathematically everything you need to do in order to get the most amount of currency and you don't have to think of anything. You can also join the Overseas Casual Discord if you're not at max rank and you can find ways to get the workshop knowledge for when you're leveling. Next tier of Raid has come out. The story continues in Raid 9 through 12 is out. I have to say the music and soundtrack is also top tier. They just keep outdoing themselves here. We have a new Tataru's Grand Adventure quest and we get a nifty little gift for completing it. It's not glamour, so don't go overestimating the gift you're going to get. But the story is really good. Crafting and gathering the new battle gear, we now have item level 640 gear out which can be crafted using new gathering nodes and new tombstone materials. A quick tip here is earthbreak sand can be gotten from purple scripts or through fishing collectibles and doing the ethereal reduction for the fish you catch. I like doing the fishing collectible method better for getting earthbreak sand. Immutable solutions will also be purple scripts which you can bake the culinarian collectible for turn-ins. For the love of god make sure to turn on your collectible glove when you're doing the fishing collectible. It won't be too difficult to make the new gear that just came out if you've been keeping up with the gear and even basic melding. I'm gonna go with pre-biz for savage in case I'm able to jump in and actually do savage with sage this tier which will most likely be party finder and with a few friends. I would provide a macro for the crafting, but it's really hard if you don't have the same stats as I do. But Ash10, he's a content creator for Final Fantasy for gathering and crafting specifically, and he puts out amazing videos with minimum stats needed. So I would go check over there to see if he has a video. As far as tracking what you're crafting, you can use the Garland Data website for tracking crafts. A lot of people have switched over to team crafts. I personally have not yet, but I'm going to eventually. Lastly, for the new gathering nodes, the Gathering Final Fantasy website is top tier for getting alarms, very simple to use. I highly recommend this website for tracking the gathering nodes and tells you the closest teleport to each node. It's just very user friendly without all the extra junk. Last but not least, we have a new ocean fishing route. They have a pretty cool mount associated that I have not got myself quite yet, but you can use ocean fishing for power leveling fisher, the fastest way to do so currently, I believe. This wraps up our post-patch 6.4 bun checklist. Make sure to like and subscribe to keep up to date with all the news and updates for Final Fantasy XIV. A huge thank you to my bun supporters of Patreon, YouTube, Discord. You guys really make this channel possible for me to make videos every week. If you would like to support the channel, then you can join my Discord. 
and find three options to support there or join my Patreon, which there's many more different options for that as well. I make guides and tutorials for all things Final Fantasy 14. So if you want to watch more in-depth Final Fantasy guides and tutorials on job guides, crafting guides, money-making guides, then you can click here.